The type of bead weaving that we're learning is the right angle weave stitch with a single needle. The type of cording I'm using is a size D Nemo thread, and I'm also using 5mm turquoise bicones. The first step for your right angle weave is to thread on four beads. This is what it's going to look like. Take your needle around and back through the first bead that you thread on. This will create a loop with all of the beads that you threaded on. Whichever bead you come out of with your thread, it's very important, especially with the right angle weave, to go through the next two adjacent beads to the one that you came out of. So I'll be going into, into this bead on the right, and then this bead on the bottom, which also happens to be the bead directly opposite from the first bead that we threaded on. So I'm coming down through this bead, and I'm going across that bottom bead, and if you're working with thinner thread, you may also wish to go through all of your beads one more time to make all of your beads fit into place a bit tighter. So this is what your first beading unit will look like. Now from here on out, with your right angle weave, you'll only need to thread on three beads because the bead that you come out of with your thread happens to be the first bead of the next unit. So let me explain. I'm threading on three more beads onto my thread, and then just like before, go back through the first bead of the unit. When you pull tight, you should get this familiar shape again. As before, you'll go through this bead that happens to be on the left side and the bottom bead, which also happens to be the bead directly opposite of the one that you came out of. So believe it or not, that's all that there really is to right angle weave. You are doing loop-de-loops, going in and out in opposite directions with every single beading unit. So let's go through a couple of these and see what a whole length of right angle weave looks like. As you see, I've threaded on a couple more of my beads, and this is what right angle weave should look like. You'll have two, and then one. Two, then one, two, then one. This is what one row of right angle weave looks like. Should you want to do a bracelet, a necklace, or a bag that requires more than one row, this is how you add additional rows. As you see, the thread is coming out of the very last single bead out of this unit here on the end. Now, if you were following the right angle weave instructions like before, your next inclination would be to thread on three more beads and continue doing your threading. Stop here. Instead, what you'll do is you'll come down through this bottom bead. So now the thread is coming out of here. Now you'll thread on three beads and go back through that top bead. This is the first unit in the second row going from right to left. So as you see, even when you're making additional rows, you're snaking back and forth. Your thread now is coming out of this leftmost bead on the first unit of the second row. You have your right bead and your top bead for your second unit already in place. So you only need to thread on two beads and then go through the top bead and the right bead one more time. Now you've looped around and you've come out through this right bead. Now your thread is heading towards the bottom of your weaving. Go through the bottom bicone. Go through the left bicone. Now your thread is coming up through the top through this left bead over here in the second unit on the second row. Take your thread and go through the top bead in the third unit and then thread on two more beads because remember you have your top bead and your right bead already in place. Now you'll come up through this right bead like so and that will cinch all of your beads into place and then go through the top bead again. Now you'll come down through this left bead. 
Do you see a pattern taking shape right now? You're doing the exact same loop-de-loop -loop that you did on the first row, except this time you already have two beads threaded on. So you're not threading on three beads like you did before, just two, because two of your beads are already in place from the previous row. This is how you do single needle right angle weave stitch.